Now that we have constructed our isometric drawing of this little box, we can also do orthographic views of this box. Now, an isometric drawing, like the one we did before, is a single 3D view of the entire object. You will notice that we don't show hidden detail or draw it as if it is transparent such that the back lines are visible. The reason for that is it really does make the drawing excessively complicated to understand if we draw in all the background, usually invisible detail, into the isometric. So now that we've done the 3D, we can do multiple 2D views of this component. It's also known as orthographic. So in this example, I'm going to do 2D views of block ACFE, block ABDC, and block CDGF. The first one I'm going to choose as my main view. To the right of that, I'm going to draw the right hand view, and to the top, the top view. <coughs> so now we can start. Our main view is going to be ACFE. Line EA is the bottom line. It has a length of 4 cm. Line AC length of 2 line CF a length of 4 and line FE a length of 2 you'll notice I'm drawing this with a ruler I'm just doing it this way to make sure that everything not lines up well for my classes but generally we would do this much faster and just using freehand without a ruler. So there is my main view. I'm just labeling it for reference sake. In our drawings in class, please do not label all your lines. It is going to waste a lot of your time. <coughs> to the right of this, we've got the right hand view. So there's the right hand view, and it is a rectangle with the same height. This thing didn't become taller or shorter as I rotated it. The height of this block is still 2 cm no matter how I rotate this thing. So let's draw ABDC. The width was 3 cm. Good, so this corner is corner A, B, D, C. Above view A, I'm going to draw a projected view of the top of this box. You'll notice the width of the box, the length of line EA, hasn't changed as I rotated this box. That line still remains the same length. Meaning my top view must have the same width as my main view. So in the top, now we have corner C, D, G, and F. So there we have a basic orthographic drawing of this three-dimensional object.
On the left we have the isometric, on the right we have the orthographic.